Hi everybody, just wanted to do a quick video about how you could add the special zombie mummy to the population of normal infected zombies on your daisy community or your daisy local server because it's quite easy to do. Now what I have done is I have created um, on my uh, GitHub repository uh, just, just a little list of XML snippets that you will find useful that refer to the mummy. So in the description below this video you'll find a link to my uh, GitHub repository um, and you'll see it there and if you go there you'll get to the, these snippets so they include the XML snippet for the Halloween event when that is live um, and importantly the CFG spawnable type snippet that you'll need if you want your mummies to spawn with stuff in their cargo and also for reference I've included the type uh, the types.xml snippet but that should already be in your vanilla files you know whichever version you're on so how can we do this so how can we add um, the, uh, the 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 uh, infected mummy to uh, the normal uh, uh, sort of uh, collection of zombies that spawn in and the the trick is really in your events.xml file so in your events.xml file if you open it up um, fairly near the top you'll see you'll see it starts um, with the infected uh, zombies so start with infected army and as you scroll down you'll see uh, the events that spawn in the zombies around the map you get infected army infected army hard infected city etc and each of these events spawns at different places relevant to where they're meant to be spawning so in an industrial area in a village all that sort of stuff and they spawn in zombies so all you need to do is the simplest way of just getting zombies to uh, spawn mummy zombies to spawn in with your normal ones is just to copy the uh, class name for the infected zombie and just spawn it in to one of these over the top of one of the existing ones so just do that and then just go down and carefully spawn it in there we go bear in mind though that the um, infected mummy zombies are very difficult to kill make sure you don't make any spelling mistakes as well and you would go down you could you could do that um, and then they would spawn in so you don't want too many of them however by doing it this way you're kind of letting the game decide how many it should spawn in but it should really only spawn in spawn in one when you go into these particular places along with a, a load of other zombies so that's in your events.xml um, and if you're not sure where that is um, on your server if you go to the dashboard then go into the file browser then go into the missions folder and then go into Chernus if it's Chernus, Enoch if it's Livonia go into the DB directory and there is uh, events uh, uh, events that XML. So you just click on that and go down and paste that um, the, the mummy reference into the zombies so if we scroll down we'll see them start to appear here we go infected army so we're replacing those ones now if you want your uh, zombies uh, mummies to have stuff on them what we need to add is we need to add uh, this snippet here the zombie snippet to your CFG spawnable types and this just says when a zombie mummy spawns in um, spawn him in with con contaminated cargo which is the a chance of the anti-chem injector some steak some human meat a bandage dressing or a rag and, and those but they're very low chances that you'll actually get these things um, if you don't add this the zombie mummies should still spawn in but they won't have anything in their cargo so what you need to do is you would need to either go to my code snippets here and just copy that then go into your CFG spawnable types let's just make sure it's not already there control F mummy yeah it's not already there and for make it easy we're going to put it right at the top of the zombies let's close that there's a lot of zombies in Daisy isn't there there we go start of zombies so we'll put it right at the top there we'll make a little bit of space we'll V it in there there we go and then you would save that and then upload it to your server or if you're doing this live on a server uh, you want to go into the root directory of your mission 
and you'll have CFG spawnable types will be down here somewhere. There it is. So we can just click on that. Then we would go down, find the zombies. In fact, if we go control F uh, NBC, find the next one. Here we go, start of zombies. So we would put a space in there and then control V to paste in there. Save that, restart the server, and there you go. You would then have the zombies spawning in as part of your ordinary uh, group of zombies that are spawning in uh, around the map. But as I say, be very careful with this. I wouldn't go mad and add lots of them to every single zombie event because they are difficult to kill. And especially for freshies around the coast, if they come across one of these zombies, they, they'll really, really struggle to kill them. Um, and it, you could find you have players complaining because the game is now too hard. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description below, in the descri description below the video to my um, GitHub repository for those little code snippets. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same process, subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.